Senor Lucentio, today is the appointed day when Caterina and Petruchio should be married. And yet we hear not of our son-in-law. What will be said? What mockery will it be to want the bridegroom when the priest attends to speak the ceremonial rites of marriage? Oh, what says Lucentio to the shame of ours? No shame but mine. I must forsooth be forced to give my hand opposed against my heart to some mad brain rod who fool. I told you I he was a frantic fool. Hiding his little Jess of love behavior now must the world point a poor Catherine and say no. There goes my Petruchio's wife. If it would please him to come and marry her. <laughs> Patience, good Catherine. And Baptista too. Upon my life, Petruchio means but well, whatever fortune stays him from his word. Though he be blunt, I know him passing wise. Though he be merry, yet withal, he is he's honest. Well, Catherine, will never know him, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck oh. it. Go, girl, I cannot blame thee now to weep, for such an injury would vex a very saint, much more a shrew of thy impatient humor. Master! Master! <laughs> news, old news, and such news as you've never heard of. Is it new and old, too? How may that be? Why, is it not news to hear of Petruchio's coming? Is he come? Why no, sir. Yeah. What then? He is coming, sir. When will he be here? When he stands where I am and sees you there. Oh, but, but say, what to thy old news? Petruchio is coming in a new hat and an old jerkin, and a pair of breeches to a nice turn. An old sword hanging from the town armory, chapless with a broken hilt, and two broken points. His horse is hipped with an old moth and saddle, and stirps of no kindred. <sighs> Out of woman's crop of lore, which have two letters for her name, fairly set down stuff, he's here and there with Patrick. Uh, who comes with him? Oh, sir, his lackey, a monster, a very monster in apparel, not like a Christian footballer or gentleman's lackey. It is some odd humour pricks him from his fashion, and oftentimes he goes but me in apparel. I am glad he has come, hostel, where he comes. Why, sir, he comes not? Does that not say he comes? Who, that Petruchio came? Aye, that Petruchio came. No, sir. I say his horse comes with him on his back. Ah, that's all one. How oh, well these gallant suits at all? You are very welcome, <laughs> sir. But yet I come not well. And yet you heart not? And not so well uh, apparelled as I wish you were. Were it better that I should rush in thus? But where is Kate? Where is my lovely bride? How does my father? <laughs> Gentles, methinks you frown. Uh, sir. You know this is your wedding day. Uh, first we were sad, fearing you would not come, but now sadder that you come so unprovided. A fine doff this habit, a shame to your estate, an eyesore to our town festival. And tells us what occasion of import could also long detain you from your wife and send you hither, so unlike yourself. <laughs> A tedious a word to tell and harsh to hear. Suffice it I am cut to keep my word. But where is Kate? I stay too long from her. The morning wears to time we were at church. Oh, see not your bride in these unfriendly robes. Go to my chamber, put on clothes of mine. <laughs> not I, believe me. Thus I'll visit her. Oh, but thus I trust you will not marry her. But so even thus, tis me to, to, to my clothes she's married, not a... But what a fool am I to chat with you when I should bid good morrow to my bride and seal the title with a lovely kiss. It is, he had some meaning in his mad attire. We will persuade him be it possible to put on better ere he go to church. Uh, I'll after him and see the event of this. What? Trillo, concerning us to add, which to bring to pass her father's liking, as I before apart to your worship, I am to get a man. Whatever he be, it skills not much. We'll fit him to our turn, and he shall be a Vincenzo of Pisa. And make assurance here in Padua of sums greater than I have promised. So shall you quietly enjoy your hope and marry sweet Bianca with a consent. <laughs> Were it not that my fellow schoolmaster doth watch Bianca's footsteps so narrowly, twere good, methinks, to steal our marriage away, which once performed, let all the world say no. I'll have mine own, despite of all the world. That, by degrees, we mean to look into, and watch our advantage in this business. 
We'll overreach the graybeard, Greenio, the narrow, prying father, Manola, the quaint musician, Amorous Lucio. All for me, I'm master thing, no Cenzio. Oh, oh, oh. Senor Greenio, came you from the church? As willingly as I ever came from school. And are the bride and bridegroom coming home? Bridegroom, say you? Tis a groom indeed, a grumbling groom, and that the girl will find. Curse her than she, why tis impossible. Why, he's a devil, a devil, a very fiend. Why, she's a devil, a devil, the devil's dam. Tut, she's a lamb, a dove, a fall to him. I tell you so, Lutentio, when the priest should ask if Caterina should be his wife, I by God's wound, quoth he, and swore so loudly that all amazed the priest let fall the book. <laughs> and as he stooped again to take it up, the mad-brained bridegroom took him such a cuff the down fell priest and book and book and priest. No, take them up, quoth he, if any list. And to what said the wench when he rose again? Why, she trembled and shook. For he stamped and swore as if the vicar meant to cousin him. Then after many ceremonies done, he calls for wine. A health, quoth he, as if he'd been aboard, carousing to his mates. After the storm, quaffed off the muscadel and threw the sobs into the sexton's face for no other reason that his beard grew thin and hungry and seemed to ask him sobs while he was drinking. This done, he takes the bride about the neck and kisses her lips with such a calamorous smack that at the parting the whole church did echo. I see this came thence for very shame, and after me I know the rout is coming. Such a mad marriage never there was before. Hark, hark, I hear the minstrels play. Gentlemen and friends, I thank you all that I be held me give away myself. And I know you think to dine with me today, and thus it stands, I must take my leave of you. Is it possible you will away tonight? I must away today, before night come. Make it no wonder, if you knew my business, you would entreat me rather go than stay. Uh, drink to my father, drink your health to me, for I must away, and here I leave you, sirs. Oh, and sir, let us entreat you stay till after dinner. It may not be. Well, let me entreat you. It cannot be. Let me entreat you. I am content. Are you content to stay? I am content you shall entreat me stay, but yet not stay. Entreat me how you can. Now, if you love me, stay. Draw me on my horse. Nay, nay, then. Do what thou canst. I will not go today. No, not tomorrow. Nor till I please myself. The door is open, sir. There lies your way. You may be juggle my your boots up to the green, but for me, I'll not be gone till I please myself. Tis like you prove a jolly, surely groom that taken upon you at first so roundly. Oh, Kate, prithee, be content, be not angry. I will be angry, what is thou to do? Good boy, <laughs> father. He will stay at my level. <laughs> I marry, sir, and how it begins to work. <laughs> Gentlemen, forward. The bride. I see a woman lady made a fool if she had not the spirit to resist. They shall go forward, take at thy command. Obey the bride, you that attended her. Drink and be merry. Or go hang yourselves. But for my bonny cape, she must along with me. Nay, look not beaten, nor stare, nor stamp, nor fret. I will be master of what is mine own. She is my goods, my chattels, my house, my household stuff, my field, my barn, my horse, my ox, my ass, my anything. She stands, touch her whoever dare. I'll make you mine action on the proudest he that stops my way in Padua. Romeo, draw forth thy weapon. We are beset with thieves. Rescue thy mistress if thou be a man. Fear not, sweet wench, they shall not touch thee, Kate. I'll buckle thee against a million. No! Oh. No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Let them go, a couple of quiet ones. <laughs> Wait they not quickly, I should die with laughing. <laughs> of all mad matches, never was the like. <laughs> Mistress, what's your opinion of this? I've been mad myself, there's mad for me too. <laughs> I warrant it, Petruchio is cated! <laughs> <laughs> Neighbours and friends, do a bride and bridegroom wants to supply the places at the table, you know there wants no junkets at the feast. Senor Lucentro. Uh, you should supply.
supply the bridegroom's place and let Bianca take her sister's room. Shall sweet Bianca practice how to bride us? She shall, Lucentio. Oh. Uh, come, gentlemen, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>